good morning students in the last session we studied about coal so in this session i am going to teach about petroleum so what is meant by petroleum what is petroleum petroleum is used as a fuel in light automobiles such as motor cycles scooters and cars etc so most of the vehicles uh, they run with the help of petrol same like heavy motor vehicles like trucks and tractors run on diesel so suppose if it's a heavy vehicle like a truck or a tractor they run on diesel so petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource it is called petroleum so this petroleum it is actually a dark liquid it consists of many other substances okay to consist we will get petrol diesel kerosene so many other things we will be getting from this petroleum so this petrol and diesel are obtained from natural resource so that main resource that is called petroleum so from the petroleum we are getting many other products then formation of petroleum how this petroleum will form so we studied how this coal will form uh, we studied that the plant or trees which are uh, growing on the land they will die and will go under the soil after many years it will compress after many years what will happen after million years it will compress due to high heat and pressure it turns into what it turns into coal same like how the formation of petroleum petroleum actually it is formed in the sea or ocean it's formed in the bottom of the sea or ocean clear petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea as these organisms died their body is settled at the bottom of the sea and got covered with the layers of sand and clay so the uh, living organisms maybe the plant or animal which are living in the sea or oceans they will die and they will go under the sea or bottom of the sea just above this dead body is what will come it is covered with different layers of soil okay there is many many layers of uh, soil like sand clay everything will form it means it forming different layers so what will happen the bottom layer it will it will be compressed and in that layer they will get more pressure and more even the temperature will rise and also pressure will be more clear so over millions of years absence of air high temperature and high pressure transform the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas clear so after many years what is happening so this dead bodies is going under the sea above that i told is covered with different layers of soil layer by layer and it is the bottom layers it is compressed and after many years after millions of years so there is no there is absence of air and also high temperature and high pressure this dead bodies it transformed into what transformed into petroleum and natural gas so petroleum and natural gas deposits so this is the way uh, it will deposit you can see the wells okay that area where we are getting uh, we will dig and take this petrol and uh, diesels from the bottom of the sea that wherever it is present that is called wells you can see here this is the reservoir rock in this reservoir rock side you can see the water is present then oil then gases oil always you can see it's floating on the water why what is the reason for that because oil is less denser than water clear the if you are comparing the density of water and oil 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 is less denser than than water so that is the reason it is floating on the water clear so the water then oil then you can see here gas these are impervious rocks these are reservoir rocks so from here we get petroleum and natural gas then refining of petroleum petroleum is a dark oily liquid it has an unpleasant odor or smell it is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas petrol diesel lubricating oil paraffin wax etc so that is the reason i told it is a dark oil oily liquid it's a dark oily liquid it has an unpleasant smell and also it consists of different constituents which are the different constituents such as petroleum gas petrol diesel lubricating oil paraffin wax etc the process of separating the various constituents or fractions of the petroleum is known as refining so we have to separate these so this petrol it's a 
one like dark oily liquid but it cons consists of all these constituents we have to separate them from the petroleum so that process is known as refining clear so the process of separating the various constituents or fractions of petroleum is known as refining it is carried out in a petroleum refinery you can see the picture here it's a refining of petroleum here refining of petroleum here ha happening so it is carried out in petroleum refinery then various constituents of petroleum and their uses we told just now the petroleum which consists of different constituents and each one has different use okay so let us see which are the constituents of petroleum one is lpg liquid petroleum gas petrol kerosene diesel lubricating oil paraffin wax bitumen first one is lpg or liquid petroleum gas it's a fuel for home and industry we are using at home fuel for home and also for industry second petrol petrol we will use for motor fuel for vehicles motor fuel it is also solvent for dry cleaning okay we will give the clothes for dry cleaning they will they will use petrol as a solvent so it is a solvent for dry cleaning then kerosene kerosene it's a fuel for stoves lamps and for jet aircrafts okay so kerosene stoves nowadays it's uh, not uh, very common then also people are using that so kerosene is a fuel for stoves lamps and also for jet aircrafts then same like diesel it's a fuel for heavy motor vehicles and also electric generators you can see that a generator which works uh, with this diesel and also it's a fuel for heavy motor vehicles lubricating oil it is used for lubrication then paraffin wax it is used uh, for making ointments candles and vaseline okay if you are using the vaseline you take that container and see you can see the what are the ingredients or constituents what it contains you can see the paraffin wax the name you can see so this paraffin wax it's used for making ointments candles vaseline etc then bitumen bitumen means it's used for making paints and also road surfacing all for metalling of the road we are using this bitumen okay for paint paints and also for road surfacing then natural gas natural gas is very important fossil fuel because it is easy to transport through pipes then it is also used as a starting material for the manufacture of number of chemicals and fertilizer so another use of natural gas it is used for the so it is used as a starting material for the manufacture of chemicals and fertilizers in india natural gas has been found in tripura rajasthan maharashtra and in the krishna godavari delta so in india from which are the places we uh, we found natural gases or from we get natural gas natural gas has been found in tripura rajasthan maharashtra and in the krishna godavari delta then petroleum conservation how we can conserve petroleum in india the petroleum conservation research association pcra what is the full form of pcra petroleum conservation research association advises people how to save petrol or diesel while driving okay we have to save the petrol and diesel because they are fossil fuels after many years it may finish okay it's uh, limited then again if you want to get petrol and diesel again it will take millions of years so uh, so this pcra advises people how to save petrol or diesel while driving their steps are first one is drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible always drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible second switch off the engine at the traffic lights or at a place where you have to wait switch off the engine at traffic lights or at a place where you have to wait third one is ensure correct type a uh, tire pressure or wheel pressure ensure correct tire pressure or wheel pressure next ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle so these are the things people should do to save petrol or diesel while driving thank you students